What does that even mean, Bowers Game Cornar? Oh, hi there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to talk about the Peanuts movie, Snoopy Flying Ace Game from Wonderforge. This is for two to four players, ages four plus, and it'll take you about 30 seconds to play. And in Snoopy's Flying Ace Game, you're going to be sending Snoopy flying after the Red Baron, playing a simple matching game and uh, a little bit of a version of roulette, almost. What am I talking about? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you. All right, then. We're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of the Flying Ace Snoopy Peanuts, etc., etc. game. First and foremost, we got our handy dandy rule booklet. It is one page, double sided, full color, and have you up and running in no time at all. It's a very, very simple game, and I'm actually just going to show you how to play the game after I show you the components. So, you're going to set up the board. It's going to come uh, with the board right here. This breaks down into its own unique piece, just like that. Folds flat so it'll fit in the box nicely. You're also going to have the top right here. And then this is actually three separate pieces. It looks a little bit like a mobile, <clears throat> but it's going to have Snoopy right there with a cloud, which is important, and then an airplane. And the airplane is just to counterbalance, and also, if you've seen the movie or read the comic strips, he is chasing the World War I Ace Bear. So each player is going to get their own unique colored uh, pile of cards. You'll get black, purple, blue, and red, which is not pictured. i got a three-player game going right here. And you're also going to get your own unique tokens. You're going to be placing these tokens on the board. And if Snoopy's tail lands on your token, you are the winner of the game. They're double-sided tokens. I'll show you real quick. Uh, they're pretty nice. One side has uh, Snoopy on it. One side has an airplane. So. Let's go ahead. When you want to start the game, what you're going to do is you're going to spin the spinner, and then each player is going to take turns flipping over their card. If you complete a match, you are going to put one of your tokens on that character's space if it is available. So as you can see, all the different characters from the game, you got Schroeder and Linus and Sally and Franklin and Charlie, all the different characters from the game are going to be on these cards and also on the board. But let's stop beating around the bush. I'll show you how the game works. So one person's going to take it. And they are going to spin, and then you're going to take turns flipping over the cards until you get a match. Oh, we got a match, so black would get to put that right there. Now blue going, oh, blue got a match, so blue would get to put it over there. So if anybody else spins that one, they are not going to get to put their token on there. Let's see, Franklin, oh, boom, Franklin, he put it right there because he's slowing down. Let's see, we got any more matches? We got Charlie Brown, we got another one of those, which doesn't do anything. We got a Sally, and we got a Linus. So, it has successfully stopped, and it's on Franklin. No one has placed a token on Franklin, which means you rinse, wash, and repeat. You keep going, but you leave the tokens on the board. So maybe the next person would take a spin, and they would go. And we'd say, all right, we got Franklin, Charlie Brown, we got this. Oh, we got Sally, which means I've completed that. So I'll place my Sally right there. We got Lucy, we got Charlie. We got Schroeder, we got Schroeder, which, man, we got a lot of Schroeder matches. Charlie, Sally, Lucy. Oh, we got one of those matches, so she put that right there. He's like, stop, stop, stop. He's hoping for that. But it does not look like it's going to happen. We got another Sally, but Sally's already taken. Uh, at which point we would see that Franklin landed on Franklin again. And you would do this. But as you can see, now there's different spots on the board. But eventually what's going to happen is that uh, Snoopy is going to land on your particular spot where you have a token, in which case you have won the game, and that, in a nutshell, is how the Peanuts movie, Snoopy's Flying Ace Game, is played. Alrighty then, the Peanuts movie, Snoopy Flying Ace Game. What are my final thoughts? For the pros, let's go to the cons. First, on the con side, the game is not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. First and foremost, this is a children's game, and very young children's family game. This isn't going to be one of those games that you will play with your kids when they're young, and then they'll grow up, and they'll still have a lot of fun with it. No, it's not going to be one of those games. Once they get about seven, eight years old, I think this game is going to go the way of the Dodo Bird. Also, it's incredibly short. I feel like this game was designed for this generation of children, because it literally, no exaggeration, most of the time lasts between 30 seconds and a minute and a half. That's insane. Really? You don't think children have... You, you think TV and video games has just shrunk their attention span down that much? Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Also, if you're an adult, you're going to want more. You're going to want more. There's some kids' games, particularly some of the ones from uh, 
Hama, they're great. You're going to play them. You're going to have fun with your kids. This one, you're just going to want more. Now, you may play the advanced version of the game, which does add just a teeny weeny little bit more meat to the bones, but this is an incredibly simple luck based children's game. This is a mass market game, despite the fact it looks awesome, and it does look awesome. Don't let it you fool you into it's anything else. Two to four players, also restricted player count. Uh, last con, the cards, incredibly flimsy, especially considering you're going to be using them and shuffling them consistently. Very flimsy cards, which is surprising, because otherwise, component-wise, very, very nice components. Moving on to the pros, though, I can't, I can't rip this game apart, despite the fact it's clearly just a dumbed-down children's game, mass-market children's game aimed at children. Every kid that I've played with has had a lot of fun with this game. It's, it's, and that's, that's what this review is about. That's why you're here. You want to know if your kids are going to have fun with it. And for me, personally, if your kid is age uh, 3 to 6 or 7, yes, I think they're going to have fun with it. It's simple mechanisms. It's over quickly. It looks really cool. They love spinning the spinner. And if they like Charlie Brown and Peanuts, which they should, you should be showing your kids that because it's awesome, uh, they're gonna, they're gonna like it. You know, I gave this to my son as a birthday gift, and we played it, and I was like, eh. and he loved it. He requested every single night, and, and it's so quick. That's one of the things. It is so quick that we can literally play this every single night. We play it like seven times. And what we've been doing to enhance the learning is we've been saying, all right, we're going to see who can get to five wins first. So then it would be keeping track of the score, counting up to five, that sort of thing. So there's different ways that you can expand this game, make it a little bit more educational, we'll have a little bit more meat on the bones. Uh, we actually, just one time, I just a couple nights ago, tried playing it as a roulette game. So yes, roulette game, You where, where he would start... We each started with two tokens. Then you place your tokens on the spot of the board, and if Snoopy landed on your spot, then you would double up. But you could also potentially, which is how I won one of the games, is I had four tokens on one spot, and boom, I hit it big. Now, if you want to modify the game to make it into a roulette, I just want to throw that idea out there. We had a lot of fun with that. And, uh, yeah, but that's pretty much all you can expect from the game. Snoopy's Flying Ace game is a mass market game that's for children that's okay and the kids love it so there you go it's good it's a good kids game there you go it's what you want it's stupidly short and it makes me mad that they don't make it's like look at this how can you not come up with a cooler mechanism that for this awesome thing yeah, i'm just being old grumpy homer so let me know in the comments below do you like snoopy did you grow up watching snoopy for me personally i love snoopy i used to read it in the, I used to have the big old books with all the different comic strips on it. We, we took my son. That was actually his first movie he ever saw in the movie theater. He loves Snoopy. But do you like Snoopy? Do you have any sort of attachment to Snoopy? Let me know in the comments. Well, as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.